guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today we are talking file management on the Korg Electribe sampler. Um, I'm going to show you how to get the blank sample file and the blank preset file that will uh, clear out a lot of the junk that the um, is shipped on the Electribe from the factory. And we are going to look at how to convert your samples um, that you download on the web to a format that the Korg is going to be happy with. So let's start here with a basic uh, overview of how the SD card management works and why you would want to do something like this. Um, these are the specifications for the Electribe. As you can see, normal SD cards, it'll accept up to two gigabytes. SDHC up to 32 gigabytes. In my case, I have a four gigabyte SDHC card. Um, and that's plenty of space, but the real limitation here is further up, which is that the sampler can accommodate up to 499 samples, great. Total maximum uh, memory, approximately 270 seconds, calculated as mono oral or mono, or you know, double that time for stereo files, which I don't recommend using stereo files with this device. Um, and this is regardless of the capacity of the SD card. Now you ask how that works. And the way that it works is they use the E2S sample.all file. Uh, let's take a look at it. It is in the Korg folder, Electribe sampler, and um, it is under sample. These are the sample files in WAVE that I have recorded on to my Electribe. And then here are a couple E2S sample.all files. By default, it will load the one called E2S sample.all with this capitalization. This always wants, you always want to have this be the default one when you load your, your Electribe. Um, so what it's doing is it's taking the, the files, the waves that are specified in this all file, and it is loading them into a smaller memory on the device. That is what limits it to 270 seconds. So we're going to take a look. Um, they, a couple years ago, released the clear sample data, which someone had already created on the forum. So we appreciate that, Korg. And I've already downloaded that to my downloads folder. So this E2S sample.all file is blank and has nothing in it. The one that's on my card has some of my more recent work on it. So we're going to rename it E2S sample4.all. Now in the menu, you can load an all sample file and go in and load one of these after it's preloaded the first one. Um, and it's going to change all of the samples um, a lot of your patterns uh, that were recorded with a different sample bank are going to sound pretty strange with different samples loaded. But it does allow you uh, a way to get around this 270 second maximum. Now, as of late, I've started thinking that actually what you want to do is start calling these E2S sample 000 through 075. And those will correspond to the pattern numbers. So um, you really probably only need one pattern file unless you're, you're really getting over 250 patterns. Um, so this will allow you to maximize the number of samples you can use uh, across your device and be, have a quick way of knowing that if you're going to load sample number 76, you have to go to the next uh, sample file. So uh, that's the way I'm going to revamp it, although I have to look at what I have recorded before I can really do that conclusively. Um, I'm going to blank this e2s sample.all, copy it over to the folder. Um, I did not copy over anything. And then we're going to take a look at back Korg Electribe sampler. This is the Electribe underscore sampler underscore all pattern dot E2S all pat file. This holds all of your pattern data, all of the parts um, and what the knobs are assigned to on each part. 
Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing with this and I'm just gonna call this one. And then um, Terakith has been very kindly provided something here. Um, and I'll link to this below. That is the blank Electribe pattern file. This is something Korg hasn't provided as of yet. Um, so even if you blank all the samples, you're still going to have Volcano or Little Kitty or whatever those, um, those presets are on there. Um, they won't have the samples associated with them once you've put a blank all sample file, but it'll still have all the junk and all the, the um, how the uh, synthesizers are assigned and presets, which might be cool, might be something you want. Um, but if you do want to start from scratch, you can download this file. And I have here. Um, so there are, I think one of these is for the sampler and one of these is not for the sampler. So I'll take the one that looks like it's for the sampler. And this should blank out the Electribe, and I'll switch over there in a second and show you that. Um, but real quick, before we get into that, we're going to uh, look at some samples. Now, your samples uh, that you load from your computer, you don't have to put in the sample folder. Um, this is really just the presets. Um, it, it will bring them in here um, when you import them. Um, I suppose maybe, you could import them here with the number, but you'd still have to import them uh, through the utility to get them uh, loaded in the E2S sample file. So I just put these in a folder down here. This is a uh, real dirty is the samples that I got off of Lander. This is just when I Googled samples, free sample packs. Um, so. We're just gonna go to single hits. This is a kick. I'm gonna open this with QuickTime Player real quick and I'll show you the problem. The problem is this is two channels. Uh, it's 24 bits and it's 44 one kilohertz is the sampling rate. Um, what the Electribe wants, if you're going to ever slice a loop, um, there's no reason to have a stereo kick for anything you're producing. So the, the reason that this is two channels is a great example of what you don't want. Um, but I'm going to bring this over to a utility called Media Human Audio Converter. Um, this is free for Mac or Windows, pretty similar. Um, and I'm going to set the output to this real dirty folder that I've created. We're going to change our output. Um, our output settings to wave and we want to set some customs here channels mono sample rate 48 kilohertz so this will be doing some some substantial um, work to these files and if you drop them in here you can uh, queue up a number of them and then run that and inside Real Dirty, we have our kick. Open this in QuickTime, and it says 16-bit, not 24, 48 kilohertz, one channel. Uh, you'll, you know, it will sound pretty similar. Um, and we will uh, switch over now. I'll give you a look at what we've done on the uh, Electrab. So we're gonna insert the SD card and power on the unit. And I'll start by saying a slight revision to what I told you while we were on the computer, um, which is that while it loads the E2S sample.all file by default, it actually doesn't um, load the pattern file by default. It remembers the last pattern file um, that was in there regardless of how it was named. So what I've already done is gone to data utility import all pattern navigated to the Korg folder and another revision here is that I think you're going to want to put a um, unique character at the front end of these files because these are the two Electribe 
pattern files, and as you can see, they look identical. Um, the reason I skipped through this too is, is that it took a long time for it to load um, the other file, but um, it was persistent. And this is what it will say after you skip through the pretty long loading sequence. Um, and it will stay persistent regardless of the file name that you've assigned to the pattern file. Um, it will persist when you turn the unit off and turn the unit back on again. So now you can see we've initialized and this actually, the way that it is set up has assigned the synthesizer uh, first oscillator to this and if we scroll backwards we can actually see there are no samples loaded it jumps right to the audio um, settings 18 17 on the other side so that was a very brief uh, file management tutorial on the Korg Electribe sampler uh, let me know if you have any other questions I can clarify for you I'm gonna try to get myself organized with um, those all sample files that correspond to set um, parts of the um, patterns and I will let you know how that turns out and I'll have more for you later. Keep making music guys!